Hey, it's Andrew Huang. So in this video, I wanna show you how I made a song using just one synthesizer. Uh, I didn't really do this on purpose, it just happened naturally. I was jamming and vibing on the Make Noise shared system that I did a video on a little bit ago, and I developed this groove that I was inspired to write to, and then I just kept layering on more and more stuff from the synth, and eventually I kinda just thought, let's see how far I can take it with just this synth, and then the song was finished without using any other instruments or sounds other than my voice when I eventually sang on it. So I'll play you a bit of the song, and then I'll show you how I made it, and if you if you do want to hear the full thing, it's called Claws, and I just released it on my new EP, Monolith. So the whole song actually started with a happy accident because I was messing around sequencing the DPO module with Renee and came up with this awesome groove. That basically holds down almost the entire song and I just create variations by uh, adding different amounts of saturation for different sections. In the choruses, I add a second layer to that, also using the DPO, but this time I played it by hand, using pressure points to affect some timbral parameters. Added in this kick drum that I made by enveloping the DPO, and actually uh, I made a whole bunch of different percussion and sound effects, and uh, this bass line actually is also in a sample pack that I'm releasing for free. Some other drums that I made uh, are these kind of tom-like things. This might be my favorite sound that I came up with on the whole synth. And that, of course, is also the DPO with some envelopes on it. Uh, the DPO is like the primary sound source for the shared system. The last couple layers of drums that I made with it are um, this kind of clap sound. And then I made this track of what I called noise clicks, which uh, is just like a whole bunch of little tiny background percussion. It's kind of serving like hi-hats, but there's a bit of random modulation in there, so nothing ever repeats the exact same way twice. Uh, there's little variations to the sound, little variations to the rhythm throughout it. So all together our drums and bass sound like this. Also, I'm gonna take a moment to address a comment that I'm anticipating, which is that if I'm doing so much in Ableton, did I really just use the synth to make the song? And of course I didn't because of Ableton, but I treat it like an instrument. You know, if I was making a song with just guitars, I would be recording lots of layers of guitars, be splicing together different takes, I would be putting effects on them. So it's kind of the same as that. I'm treating the synth as my only instrument in creating this piece, even though I'm also using my voice and I'm also using a DAW. And if you look through, I mean, the effects are pretty basic. It's like EQs, volume adjustments. This track has no processing at all and uh, some saturation, like I mentioned earlier. Just basic mix stuff that you use on any song. So moving on, I played a couple melodic parts with the synth. There's this flute-like thing. Later in the song, a kind of uh, harsher version of that sound. I ran something through Morphogene to make these clicky little fills. So like in context. There are also a whole bunch of these impact sounds that I made for this sample pack uh, using only the shared system, and I brought some of them in here for uh, certain moments in this song. Yeah. 
and then the rest of the layers on this song are just all of these effects that I uh, played live over top of it and then kind of cut up and rearranged and they just add all of the atmosphere and uh, some of the um, tension. So you know we've got like risers and fallers. And you can see with a lot of these, I'm just automating the uh, volume to go up over the duration of them because uh, that just helps, you know, with uh, the swell effect. And what else? Just all of these layers of atmospheric stuff that I've sprinkled around the track. So it was like a mixture of jamming and improvising. And then when I found a specific part that I wanted to include, like those flute lines, for example, I would patch up what I wanted and record it. And then there's no turning back because once you take the patch apart, it's gone forever. I think we're gonna be landing this ship next week, which is pretty exciting. Distant planet, searching for time crystals, adventures are about to begin. Stay tuned, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm going up to orbit. Cause I don't wanna pay rent I'll bring a couple drum machines in the modular synth